Today, I'm doing a week two recap layout. This is the second week that I've worked from home and we've all been asked to stay home to help fight the coronavirus. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper. This is where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting some pages done. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon now. So I want to be intentional about recording what's going on right now. Staying at home is a unique experience. The whole country's doing it and we're all finding new and creative ways to spend our time at home. Scrapbooking has always been a favorite hobby of mine and it's a creative outlet that will allow me to record our experience while we're at home. This layout will come together a little more quickly because I've already journaled highlights from this last week. I've been working from home. We're doing a puzzle. We're watching the Lego Masters show on Fox. This morning I made some coffee cake for breakfast. The week has gone by fast and we have to continue to encourage ourselves to stay positive and appreciate this special time with family. I have several stickers to embellish this page with, and I also pulled this cute red paper clip, and I'm adding just a little remnant of blue ribbon to it to help decorate it. I'm dipping into my stash of paper scraps and other ephemera to decorate this page. The little two by three photos that you'll see here in a minute were printed on my HP sprocket. This is a convenient and quick way to get recent photos from my phone printed and onto this page. Right now, because we're not going out, we're trying to stay at home as much as possible I'm not sending photos to be printed to pick up at a store. So if I want to put current photos from this week on this page, I decided why not go ahead and print them on that HP sprocket. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'll link in the description to a video that shows exactly what a sprocket is and how it works. It's kind of a nifty little gadget. So this past week, one of the things I did was organize my chipboard letters. And I pulled week two review in a variety of chipboard letters. And as I start to assemble this page, I realize the W and K are just a little too big. So you'll see me put those away and I actually use a couple of letter stickers for my week abbreviation. I'm just saying WK. Yeah, here are those letter stickers. I end up going back in with a journaling pen to outline the letters just to help them stand out a little bit better. And I go ahead and do that on those letter stickers as well as each letter in the word review. My page title, You Got This, was taken from a planner page. I do like the idea of keeping a planner, but 
I tend to use the items that I purchase that are planner related on my scrapbook pages. You Got This seemed to be kind of the mindset that we're keeping right now to stay positive as we get through this whole pandemic. I'd love to hear about how you're spending your time while you're at home. Are you scrapbooking? What projects are you working on? We have a thousand piece puzzle going and we're also playing Lego and watching the Lego Masters show on Fox. I'd love to hear what shows you are watching and if you have any recommendations for Netflix, please leave a comment in the description. I just started Tiger King and I'm also looking forward to watching the new ep episodes of Ozark. The last thing I do on this layout is that out outlining with the journal pen. I just try to relax my hand and give a rough outline. I do make a couple of mistakes, but that's just how it, how it goes. <laughs> I get upset that I make a little mistake and then I'm like, you know, it's a scrapbook. It's, it's meant to be handmade. No big deal. I'll leave you with some close-ups of the completed page. Until next time, keep on scrapping that stash, everybody. Thanks for watching.